Hi everyone, happy Thursday to you all. It's Naomi from Encouragement from the Word of God. It's a beautiful Thursday, warm and nice here in Toronto. I just want to bring the Word of God to you. The Word is taken today from Genesis chapter 22. If you know the book of Genesis, uh, we talk about a person named Abraham. And Abraham uh, was called by God and Abraham um, had one son after so many years and he believed in faith for his son and um, God tells Abraham after he was really really old that he received his son and Abraham loved his son so much his son's name was Isaac so God told Abraham take your son whom you love and go to this mountain and sacrifice him and show your love to me so um, this is the first time that love is mentioned in the Bible where God says take your son your only son whom you love Isaac and go to the region of Moriah sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on the mountain I will show you God was testing Abraham and God asked Abraham to sacrifice his only son and God knew that Abraham loved his son Isaac he had two sons truly and uh, one was with the servant girl Hagar and one was with um, with uh, um, Abraham's wife Sarai so God knew that Abraham loved his son Isaac so much and that's the first time that uh, it's mentioned love in the word of God and uh, so Abraham goes to Mount Moriah and he sacrifices Isaac and he was about to sacrifice and then God calls from heaven and says Abraham Abraham do not touch the child he says that God himself will provide so what happens is the uh, angel of the Lord uh, calls to Abraham and says um, that do not touch the son I know now I know that you fear God because you have not withheld me from me your son your only son so we can see that God sees that Abraham didn't even withheld his only son he loved God and that showed his sacrificial love that he had towards God and um, here we can see the same example as love was mentioned first in Genesis chapter 22 in the book in the Bible love is mentioned so many times in the Word of God and we can see the love of God that he sent his only begotten son in uh, we can see in Matthew chapter 3 verse 17 he is saying from heaven a voice from heaven said this is my son whom I love with him I am well pleased God was very pleased with Jesus and sent his only son Jesus to die for you and me he says I love Jesus I love him so much I'm well pleased with him and what he did was John 3 16 says that what he did was he sent his son so that we you and I we would be having the pardon for our sins so John 3 16 says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not die but have it everlasting life so you and I he died for you and I as love is mentioned in Genesis chapter 22 love is mentioned in the Word of God in the New Testament new covenant that God had God did the exact thing and he sacrificed his son Abraham couldn't sacrifice because God avoided it God told him to stop sacrificing God told him do not touch the child God saw that Abraham had love for God and um, we can see that um, God showed his sacrificial love for you and me by sacrificing his son he sent him he sent Jesus to die for you and me we're doing this Friday the Bible studies Luke chapter 23 and we're going to talk about how Jesus was a sacrifice for you and me and we talk about how he was beaten and he was he was pierced and how the soldiers the people um, hit him with the with the 
the weapons that were like um, were made with metal and inside there are metal pieces and where it touches you where when it hits you it takes out the flesh and his organs were all visible because the flesh was hit so many times all this was done for you and me he took the capital punishment for you and me so how can we show the sacrificial love to God and to others we can look uh, for example on Jesus he is the best example he showed us in life and he showed us in death how to love how to have the sacrificial love he forgave people who were hard to love he loved for those sinners he really said he came down for the sinners he came for the sick he came for the needy he came for you and me and sacrificial love is modeled on Jesus display with his relationships we can see even at the end of his life he talks to his mom and said mom this is your son and he gives a disciple to look after the son and we can see that God says in his word how we should have a family relationship have a sacrificial love towards our children towards our spouses it is not easy but God wants us to have that sacrificial love as mothers we try we are automatically we are sacrificial but how about the, uh, the other family members in our family are we being sacrificial towards them God wants us to be sacrificial towards uh, every family every family member and in our sacrifice we worship God God is saying God is not pleased with the offering that we bring but God is looking to your heart and see are you loving him are you sacrificing your time with that time that you can do something for yourself are you sacrificing towards God and spending time with him loving him worshiping him and we love God by following and obeying him he says that I don't want uh, sacrifice I want you to obey me I want you to worship me I want you to follow me you and I God is looking for someone with obedience just like Abraham was having obedience towards God and um, God says count everything as lost in comparison in knowing God his disciples loved God that they were willing to lay down their lives when the Holy Spirit fell on them they knew that they were in empowered and they can go and tell others about Christ they were not worried about what other people will speak about them or tell about them they spoke because they love God and they love Jesus and uh, love and service the body of Christ if we love God we have to service the people around us people in our community in our church community our church members family members all around us God wants us to be servers God doesn't want us to be served but God wants us to serve we should pray for each other carry each other's burdens and God wants us to have that sacrificial love love those who are marginalized in the society people who are rejected people who are um, who are not accepted in the community let us love them because Jesus showed us how to love others let us love others just like Jesus loved so I hope that this encourages you today as love is mentioned first when Abraham sacrificed his son and God says that's the son you love and then God does the same thing and more than that when he truly sacrifices Jesus Christ for you and me so you and I we will be saved and he showed his love for you and me so if you feel unloved if you feel lonely if you feel lost if you feel you have no one remember that God loves you and he sacrificed his only son whom he loved for you and me so that we will be saved I hope you were blessed today let's pray together father we come to you father we love you we give you glory Lord we come to you this beautiful day and we want to say that we love you Lord Lord use our life use our words use our actions help us to so show sacrificial love to people around us to our family to our children to our spouses to our in-laws to our uh, extended family to our community to our church family to our family members Lord to our friends and loved ones and to the world Lord pray for uh, the unloved and marginalized people Lord whom we come in contact every day 
Help us to show a sacrificial love towards them. Lord, use our hands, use our heart, use our mind, use our thoughts. Use our feet, Lord. Take us where you want us so that we can be ministering to others who need that love, Lord, and to experience a sacrificial love from Jesus Christ. Lord, use us, Lord, today and help us to love one another just as you have loved us. You said, if you love me, you will obey my commandments. You would love everyone else. Lord, help us to love people. Lord, fill us with your love. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope you were blessed today. My computer just went down on me. The battery went down. I was thinking of one worship song I had here, and uh, now I forgot which one I was going to sing. Um, okay, let's think. Oh, Hosanna. See, there's a rabbit. I just see the rabbit coming to our garden. And um, let's see if I can uh, uh, think of a worship song uh, where I can speak about God's love towards us. Um, the song that I was uh, thinking in my heart, I have forgotten now. Uh, let's see if I have another song that I can think. The one, the song that comes to my mind is a chorus, and it says, "All over the world, the spirit is moving." Uh, that's the song that comes to my mind. So let let me sing that one. All over the world, the spirit is moving. All over the world, as the waters cover the sea, hallelujah. All over the world, there's a mighty revelation of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Deep down in my heart, the Spirit is moving. Deep down in my heart, as the waters cover the sea, hallelujah, deep down in my heart, there's a mighty revelation of the glory of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. I hope you were blessed today with this word. May you be encouraged to love and have that sacrificial love as Christ had for you and me. He died on the cross. So, Lord, Jesus has to help us to love others whom it is hard to love, but God wants us to love and have that sacrificial love towards everyone in your community, in your society, in your family, everyone around you. Have a wonderful day. May God bless you. Hosanna, come and say hi. Hosanna's hiding. Show your doll, Hosanna. Hosanna, um, I found her old dolls and her soft toys. Want to show? Okay. There. All right. Okay, say bye. Bye.